and welcome, my friends! Here's Johnny! <laughs> no, this is Lead Gaming, and my name is Lily Mayhem, and today we want to welcome you to a, a review about Mortal Kombat X. It did start with Mortal Kombat in 1992, and then the hype went one time around the globe, and almost everyone knows what Mortal Kombat is, even if it's shortened to. <laughs> and. Fatality. But today we gonna show you what happened to Mortal Kombat in all these years and if it's still enjoyable to play. We gonna start off with the menu. The menu is pretty simple. We have single player where you play the story and towers and so on. We have the multiplayer, the local multiplayer better say. You ha can have a beat up with your friends at home and we have the online multiplayer where you can have a versus against other players. You can challenge someone in the lobby or get challenged. If you or your enemy is ejecting the versus you will fight. After the fight you can rematch or leave. Get back to the lobby if you leave for another opponent. The cool thing about this multiplayer feature is that you see the statistics of your opponent and so you know if this player is really strong or is really weak. And the system always tries to calculate your win chances. <laughs> Storyline? Yeah, there is one, but as far as we play the storyline, it's more like, well, we made a storyline because there has to be one, because it's nothing really special, nothing really great, nothing really happens while you play the story, so, yeah. <laughs> Let's hop on to the graphics. Yeah, the graphics are pretty, pretty good. On the screen now, you can see the graphics of the Xbox One. In our opinion, it looks really delicious. The fatalities look good. The fighting as itself looks really nice. The characters look really good. The background where most beat'em ups fail or most racing games fail too, we can't say something bad. The background looks really detailed as well. Kenshin wins fatality. The fight mechanics are really nice. You have some basic punch kicks and stuff like that. And then you have a lot of combos out of these basic punches and kicks. Additionally, you have the special combos. And last but not least, you have the fatalities and the brutalities. Where you can finish off your opponent with a lot of gore. And every character has different fighting styles. So you can choose between three different styles to fight. For example, Scorpion has one fighting style, Inferno where he blows his opponents up with fire and one where he fights with two swords. Now both styles have different combos which are activated by different keystrokes and this is what makes this game so special. After you mastered one style you have two more to go on each character and there are so many characters in this game and if that's not enough you can unlock different skins for your character and by unlock we mean unlock. It's not like you have to pay for it. But wait, there is more! You can use your environment to kick your enemy's ass. You have a wall behind your back? No problem. You just want to beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker? No problem. You want to smash someone's face against the wall? No problem. <laughs> The Crypta, when you wanna unlock stuff like new combos for your character, new recalls for your profile, new skins for your character, character and so on, you have to go to the Crypta. The Crypta is like a menu to unlock stuff, but it's completely 
interactive. So if you want to unlock something, you have to pay for it with your in-game points. You get these points for every fight you do. If you have enough, you can unlock stuff. But there's one problem. You never know what you unlock. It's absolutely random in the crypto. You pay off the amount you need for a gravestone, for example. After that, it will be smashed and you will be rewarded. <laughs> Rating 9 out of 10, the storyline could have really been done better. It was a bit of unnecessary to have a storyline at all in this game. It could have left that out and just programmed some more characters to fight. And they would be good in my in our opinion. But hey, 9 out of, t 9 out of 10 points? The game is really addictive, we really like the obscene violence, <laughs> the graphics, the possibilities and so on. If you buy this game, we will not be bored, trust us on this one. Do you like beat em ups? Yay! Do you like gore? Yay! You like storylines with a lot of different characters, plot twists and stuff, so you will rethink your whole life decision? Yay! <coughs> Thank you so much for watching, if you like what you see hit that thumbs up button and if you never want to miss anything hit subscribe, if you have any questions don't hesitate and put them down below in the comment section of this video. We are Elite Gaming and we want to see you on another video, cheerio!